Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of double integration. We are function f of x y is equal to x square y and region is bounded by these four curves. What we do, first we try to draw the diagram. After getting diagram, we will solve the double integration. Let us try to find that diagram first. So we have four curves. So first two are very easy, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. These two equations represent line which are parallel to y-axis. But we are thinking the remaining two curves are a little bit difficult. So we will consider these two curves first. So x is equal to 2y we have, x is equal to 2y. See power of x is 1 and power of y is also 1. So that means it represents a straight line. So you know that to find any straight line, it is enough to find any two points on a line. So let us find two points on a line. So to find two points on a line, let me write here, this is a line, okay? Let me declare here, this is a line. So to find points on a line, I draw a table like this, okay? So first column having heading x next to y and next one is xy. Now I put x is equal to zero here. If I put x is equal to zero, so 2y is also equal to 0. That means y is also 0. So y is also 0 by putting x is equal to 0. So the point is 0, 0. That means this line passes through this 0, 0 point. We want one more point. Now I put x is equal to or y is equal to 1. Whatever you you can take any value here. Getting? So I am taking y is equal to 1. If I put y is equal to 1 here, obviously the value of x will be 2. So 2. So the point is 2 comma 1. So that means this line passes through these two points. So let us find these two points. 0, 0 is here and 2 comma 1 that is here. So that means line will be like this which passes through this point and 0, 0. So let me draw the line. So line will be like this. Getting? So yes, I should mention here x is equal to 2y. x is equal to 2y. Right? Next, let us consider this curve x is equal to y square. So let me write x is equal to y square. Power of x is 1 and power of y is 2. So power of one variable is 1 and power of second variable is 2. That means 101% it is a parabola. Let me declare it is a parabola. Okay. So you can easily see here power of x is 1. So that's why parabola is symmetric about x axis as well as x has a plus sign. That means parabola is symmetric about positive x-axis. So parabola will be like this. Okay. So parabola, let me declare here, symmetric about positive x-axis, positive x-axis. So I, let me draw the parabola here. Okay. So I'm drawing the rough sketch of a parabola. It will be like this. I don't know. So it will be like this. So we have got a parabola also. So what is its equation? x is equal to y square. So let me write x is equal to y square. So we got parabola also. Right. So you can easily see here that line and parabola intersects at some point. So we are interested to know that point of intersection. It is very important to find the value of this double integration, getting to find the value of limits. So let us find points of intersection. So now the question is how to find points of intersection. The technique is very simple. Put equation of one curve in equation of second curve. By solving it, you will get point of intersection. Let us find. Let me declare. To find, to find points of intersection, points of intersection, we put, we put, we put one equation. We have x is equal to 2y in second equation, x is equal to y square. Simply I am putting the equation. Let us see what will happen if I put x is equal to 2y here. So therefore, 2y is equal to y square, right? You can take all terms on one side. So y square minus 2y is equal to 0. We have space. So we will solve. y we can take common. So y minus 2 you will have. So that means either y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2. So two values of y we have got. Let us see. Okay. We have space. So for y is equal to 0, what will happen? If you consider y is equal to 0, you can put that y is equal to 0 in any of these two equations. If I put y is equal to 0, obviously x is 0. So x is 0. So the point is, first point we have got 0, 0, x 0 and y is also 0. Let us consider second value of y for y is equal to 2. 
So if you consider y is equal to 2 and if you put any one of these two equations, if I put it here, so x is equal to 4, so x is equal to 4. So that means point is, point is x is 4, so the first co x coordinate is 4 and y coordinate is 2, 4 comma 2. So that means 0, 0 you can easily see, this is the first point of intersection and this is the second point of intersection, okay. So let me write here, this is 4 comma 2, this point is 4 comma 2. Okay, so yes, point of intersection we have got. So now we have to consider remaining two equations. Okay, but there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go further. Let us consider remaining curves. So what we have this x is equal to 2. Let me write. So x is equal to 2. So you know that x is equal to 2. This equation of line which is parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to 2. So let me mention here a line parallel to y axis okay which passes through x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 is here so the line will be here okay so i'm drawing this line so this is x is equal to 2 right x is equal to 2 see the next one is x is equal to 4 so x is equal to 4 again it is a line which is parallel to y axis right so x is equal to 4 will be here getting so here you can see here that this point the value of x is 4 so it will be here so i'm drawing a rough sketch okay 4 will be here so this is x is equal to 4. So we have uh, drawn all curves. So what we have x is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. This parabola as well as this line. So region is bounded by parabola, line and x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. So obviously this is a region of integration which is bounded by all these curves. Okay. So this is a region of integration. So we got a region of integration. After that we have to consider a strip. Either you can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis. Normally, we go for a strip parallel to y axis. I will do the same. Let me mention here consider a strip parallel to y axis. Parallel to y axis. So, I will show you a strip parallel to y axis. So, when you have a strip parallel to y axis, we have a fixed statements we write y varies from dot dot to dot dot and x varies from dot dot to dot dot so i will mention here therefore y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to right so i have told you the funda our funda so what we consider bounded below bounded above left to right so this strip is bounded below by this line. You can easily see strip move like this. Okay. So strip is bounded below by which curve it is bounded below by x is equal to 2y that is line. But see I have already mentioned y is equal to. So this 2 I will shift on this side. So you will have y is equal to x by 2 getting. I am writing the same equation but in a different way. x is equal to 2y so y is equal to x by 2. After that strip is bounded above. You can see here strip is bounded above by part of parabola whose equation is x is equal to y square. What we have let me write here x is equal to y square but I have mentioned y is equal to. I will take square root of both sides so you will have root x is equal to y. Same equation but in a different way so that's why y is equal to root x. Getting since in our format we write y is equal to so that's why we should express the equation in the same way. After that, we move strip like this. We have to cover the entire region, right? So we move strip from left to right. In a left, okay, it will go up to this line and it will stop. That strip will stop. So at this line, the equation of line is x is equal to 2. So I should write x is equal to 2 here. So now we have to move from left to right. In a right, the strip will go up to that point getting so it has to cover each and every point of a region so that's why strip will move like this and it will go up to that point where the value of x is 4 you can see here so that's why here x is equal to 4 so in this way we got value limits of y as well as x so we can solve the integration now so what is our integration double integration this f what is our f x square y our f is x square y. Our strip is parallel to y axis. So that's why I should write dy first after that dx, right? So integration with respect to y first and then integration with respect to x. 
limits of y so right here what are the limits of y we have x by 2 to root x right and outer limit is into outer integration is with respect to x having limit 2 to 4 so then simply we have to solve this integration and by solving it you will have the required answer make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so let us solve this integration okay so inner integration is with respect to y we always solve inner integral first so integrating with respect to y so functions of x and x will be constant so that x square is constant will come outside so integration 2 to 4 x square is coming outside here x by 2 to root x y dy and outer integration with respect to x so this is equal to 2 to 4 x square so you know that integration of y which is y square by 2 so it is y square by 2 with limit x by 2 to root x dx so this is equal to integration 2 to 4 x square so you know that after that i put upper limit first minus i will put lower limit if i put y is equal to root x square if you take square and square root will get cancelled you will have x by 2 after that i am putting x by 2 here so square of x by 2 is x square by 4 minus x square by 4 and this 2 that means x square by 8 dx after that i will multiply each term of this bracket by this x square then we will solve the integration integration 2 to 4 it will be x cube by 2 right and this is x raised to 4 by 8 dx let us simplify it further this is equal to no need to worry about those constants since when you take integration always we take on constants outside as well as if there is minus sign we take separate separate integration so simply we have to focus only on those functions let us integrate x cube integration of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4 let me write so this is x raised to 4 divided by 4 but see 2 is already there so 2 into 4 we will have 8 minus integration of x raised to 4 is x raised to 5 by 5 right so it is x raised to 5 by 5 into this 8 that means we will have 40 with limits 2 to 4 so now we have to put upper limit after that we have to put lower limit let us put upper limit first so this is 2 raised to 4 raised to 4 getting so 4 raised to 4 that means you will have 16 into 16 divided by 8 minus 4 raised to 5 that means 16 into 16 into 4 divided by 40 minus i am putting 2 now 2 raised to 4 you are familiar with that that is 16 by 8 2 raised to 5 that is 32 by 40 let us try to simplify it 8 to the 16 so that means we will have 32 here minus 4 will get cancelled 10 again 8 5 so that means you will have 16 into 8 by 5 right next minus 8 8 cancel 2 minus minus plus 8 uh, 4 is a 32 8 5 is a uh, sorry for yes 40 okay so this one we, we have got so 32 minus 2 we will have 30 right after that what will i do i will take this uh, 4 common so that means uh, plus 4 by 5 i am taking common from these two terms so we'll have 1 here and minus 16 into 2 32 by uh, okay 32 only since 5 we have taken already outside so this is equal to 30 plus you will have minus minus 4 into 31 by 5 right so you can easily uh, multiply so you will have here uh, 150 minus 4 2 by 5 so let us simplify this is 26 by 5 okay so this is a required answer so make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye